Hey guys, welcome back to your Amazon Mine. My name is Fabe, and this is the Time Shot Server. We are back. Two episodes this week. Oh yeah. Because I I couldn't stop working after last episode, so look at that. I started working on the ceiling, and uh, this was probably the hardest part, getting this to move into the standard pattern. And I think it's all right. It looks pretty organic. I like that the coal kind of splits off there. I think that helps a lot with the feeling. Um, yeah, I had a I had a tough time figuring that out. I'm still not entirely sure how I'm gonna make this transition. And I also kind of ran out of resources, so this corner here is not done yet. But today, I actually have some other... Look at the squid! <laughs> yeah, I haven't fixed the river yet. Do I have any sand on me? No, I think I left it all there. Should we try and fix it? So, uh, first things first, I should have started once again this episode at the amazing Ironstone Tower of the Nations, because we had two... Amazing contributions once more to the don't be daft here. So that means that I need diamonds to put people up there too. In fact, and as you can see, I don't own a single diamond. And maybe I ask some of these people and maybe I can sell some infinity bows. I mean, I could probably repair them before I sell them off, but maybe some people are interested in those. For some diamonds, I would really love to get some diamonds. <laughs> We might have to mine later, just get these two diamonds ready, we'll find out. But before we do that, there's something else I want to show you. Nah, I'm gonna fix the river off camera. We don't mind the squid. Let's go to spawn. Yep, to spawn. We haven't been at spawn in a long time. And I tell you, spawn has changed dramatically. Uh, I haven't been up to date with with uh, what's going on in the server lately because, as you probably noticed, I've been quite busy and uh, I didn't even have the chance to watch a lot of people's videos. But today I actually was able to watch a couple. Um, Edson has been doing amazing work on his base, but I don't think we're gonna have time to visit his place. Uh, Dave is back, in case you missed it. Uh, he's back on the server after he took uh, a break for a couple of months. He's back full force, and the first thing he did when he came on the server... Wait, what is this? Why is there a hole in here? That's not good. The first thing he did is totally redo spawn. Was that him too? That is actually pretty amazing. Look at these doors with the fences in there. That is a... That must be a Dave thing, because I have not seen this before. That... Sure does look amazing. I need to keep that trick in mind for modern buildings. I don't think anyone else builds in a modern style quite like Dave does. Penelope, wait, I know this horse name for some reason. I don't know whose it was, but I'm, I I think Huck wanted this place first, but I but Dave might have overtaken it, who knows. But yeah, he did all this, look at that. That is some crazy stuff that's going on here. Spawn is a completely different place, so he used my my fountain design and stocked up on it, added some wood to it, and it is gorgeous. Not a big fan of the flower in the middle. That's, by the way, also the one that I came up with for the, for the nether hub. And I never was happy with it. I always said, people, if you come up with something better, do something better than this. Uh, Dave apparently didn't have a better idea, so he used it again. But none the last. Look at that. It even goes all the way out here to my house almost. This roof, it feels really, really cool. It is something you would really see in kind of like a modern park area. And I guess that's what he was going for. Great job. And I really, I don't know, it's been here for uh, at least a week, so you might have seen it already in other people's videos. But I definitely wanted to show it off. Uh, we still got an empty plot here, I don't know who's gonna take that over. We got another new member on the server, Fultron. And in case you haven't checked him out, you should definitely go ahead and do that because he does some amazing content. Um, I love his style. Uh, I was one of the people who recommended him um, to add to the server. Oh man, look at how awesome that looks with the greenery in spawn now. I like it a lot. I'm not a big fan of the yellow beacons, I gotta say. They kinda don't go well with the rest. Maybe we should stick them to we should stick to white beacons for that. Um Let's see, is there anything else different? Oh, 
<laughs> I think by now it has been revealed. Uh, Poet and Dave and Jake and I think Edson is also involved somehow. They had a little bit of a, of a secret base and they uh, kidnapped some pigs and stuff. I'm not a. I couldn't follow the whole storyline, but I watched a random poet video like a week ago, and I saw he him building in a secret location, and I actually found it. It was somewhere here. Wasn't there not a lever here? Maybe. Anyways, uh, I think I can safely tell now that I was the one. Um, when I saw his location, I immediately remembered a place that he showed me a while ago. Um, that Dave actually dug out like ages ago before he left the server. And I recognized it. And I stopped by and actually left a sign to throw him off a little bit. To scare him a little bit. And apparently, I scared him so much that uh, they totally had to build a new base, which wasn't my intention. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun and scare him a bit. I didn't want them to move with their whole base. Another pig here, no name though. Uh, so they built a new base and apparently that does, that, that did this cut, that, wait, my, my words today. That new base did get discovered as well by Edson. I think I watched one of his videos where he showed that off. So, yep. Wait, what is this? I haven't seen. Th oh, am I spoiling something? Is that a prank? I you you need you see nothing. You've seen nothing. I want to show this building off, which is the new base of the um, pig kidnappers, I suppose, right out in the open. Another modern style, definitely a, a Dave touch in there. And uh, I gotta say, it's pretty awesome that he's back. He went straight to work and builds all sort of modern looking stuff. That's probably gonna be a fountain of some sort. I like it. Yeah, he's going to work. So that is cool. It's nice to see some more um, activity on the server again. Let's see what else is new around here. Around town, since I've been haven't been around in a while. Ah, I missed a battle boob. I think we should do some more battle boobing, don't you think? How did you guys enjoy that? Do you want to see more of battle boob PvP? I personally am a huge fan of it. Uh, I don't know if Code did some more work on it, if he uh, did some further improvements. Maybe we are out of early access now. <laughs> I think he tried to add some dispensers last time I checked. And he wasn't quite sure how to balance them yet. I don't know if he did some more work on that. But I had a blast playing in there. I would love to do it some more. So let me know if you enjoy it. Um, if a lot of you do, I might uh, ask the other guys to record some more battle boob in the future. But what I'm actually searching for is, I think, yes, there's a little hut back there that uh, Fultron built. I just watched uh, his latest video and there he showed that off. Um... <laughs> I don't know why there's a stone circle around. Maybe it's like his border and as soon as you step on it, he says, get off my lawn. <laughs> yeah, but here's some... Oh, man. Look at that. Would you look at that? He already has way better stuff than I do. PBS is also a thing that I uh, don't quite know what's all about yet. Um, it's an Edson and an Asia... Uh, startup, I would say. I don't know what's all about, but uh, it sure sounds interesting. But yeah, I definitely wanted to get you guys updated on spawn. You know what? Let's check out the uh, mindless mining branch mine. Do they still do mindless mining, these guys? I don't even know. It's been so long. It's been so long. It's really hard. I have huge respect for all the guys on the server who actually have to work a full-time job and at the same time still keep up with everything on the server. That's that's some crazy stuff. Um, I guess it makes it easier if you live in the same time zone as most of these. But uh, I do not live in the same time zone as most of these, which uh, makes it a problem. Have trouble keeping up with all that stuff. Wow, this got bigger. That's what she said. Wow, look at how long... <laughs> That's what she said again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't stop myself. Yeah, people have been mining apparently. I don't want to mine here, but we need to find some diamonds somewhere today. At least two of them. 
So I might have to do just a tiny bit of mining, maybe at my own base. If you remember, like ages ago, I built this awesome slime elevator that never really worked. And at the bottom of it, I actually intended there. You know what? Let's do this. I actually intended. Can I do this? Oh! Wow. It actually kind of worked a little bit. It helped me a bit. Um. Where was oh yeah I intended to, to for branch mines to be down there, but I never really got around to do that. I'm not a big fan of branch mining, but I probably should do it more often. Um, our new members already in the Hall of Heroes. I know Tordemar is. He's here. There's his YouTube link in case you didn't know it. Um, Mara is in here. I don't know if Fultron and or. No, those are all old members. I don't think they reserved a place for themselves uh, yet, but I'm sure they will very soon. I guess th did Dave? Dave might have his own banner back in back on the other side still. Oh, that looked weird there for a second. That new building, then it is it is really towering over spawn. Kind of crazy. I like I like how it looks. So I guess it's all right. And especially that's a little bit on a side. You know what would be cool? Having like some more skyscrapers around that. Having a little bit of a skyline. I mean, we have the Get Lost Tower back there that Wynn and Desi built back in the days. That Wynn mainly finished. Um, maybe another skyscraper there? What do you guys think? <laughs> I mean, I've pretty much already built some sort of a skyscraper. Not a modern looking one. Maybe I'm gonna come up with a modern looking one. Uh, you know... I've never really gotten into the whole modern building, 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 building. But it's kind of intriguing. Can I break into Poet's base? I don't know what he did lately. He was pretty busy himself, uh, in case you didn't know and you didn't keep up with his uh, stuff. He's currently at Wind's place right now because um, she had a uh, surgery just lately, but she's doing fine. She's doing very well. It was a planned surgery, so no accidents or nothing unexpected happened. Um, so he was visiting her for like a month and he's still there, I think, right now. So that's probably a cause why he might have not been as uh, active on the server lately, but I'm sure he will be back very soon. And now we made our way back to my own skyscraper. And I still don't have any diamonds. So you know what? I think I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna go down my elevator and I start digging... Probably not in Dave's direction because I'm pretty sure he already uh, <laughs> cleaned out his own branch mine by quite a bit. Uh, but I really need these two diamonds because I want to... Uh, want to get the names up in the donation center. Otherwise, you will have to wait another another week or so. So let's do this! Finally! That took a while. One, two, I guess that uh, fits our requirements. Perfect! <laughs> Alright, here we are on the banana tier and let's see, Spiritendo is one of those two and Rob Let's Play. Rob's, Rob's Let's Play, right? Rob's Let's Play. Just making sure I get the name right. So those two ascended from the banana tier. <gasps> no, not to the whale right here. They skipped that right away and went up to the don't be daft tier. These two guys are just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So there are three. Um, yeah, don't be daft tier, population, uh, Jordy, Spiritendo, and Rob's Let's Play. So let's see. It was a weird number, um, 120, let's round it up to $124, because uh, if he pays in Euro, um, it gets translated to some weird numbers, but yeah, he's definitely up there, and uh, Rob's Let's Play, who donated last time, um, has donated again and upped his total to $140, thank you too, so incredibly much. I can't even begin to describe how much your support means to me. That is just crazy. And that brings us um, to up to 84% towards our goal 
of the Nintendo 3DS plus the capture card. So I might be able to record Nintendo 3DS games very soon. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty excited about that because that is gonna be a ton of fun for you and for me. Um, so yeah, that's the new uh, status on the donation tower. Just keeping you guys updated. And uh, now, should I go back underground? I don't think there's anything else that I needed to show you guys right now. I don't think Dave did any more work at his base. Um, so you know what? We still have a lot, uh, some time left. And uh, that means that I can get back to work out down there and hopefully, um, well, get some stuff done on this room. Man, this is only a quarter. Can you imagine how long it will take to finish all four quarters of this room? That's gonna take a while, but the thought about how it's gonna look once it's done definitely keeps me motivated. So I've done a little more work. It's been actually a few days since the last clip and as you can see... Wait, where did you seal this dirt block? Did you seal it from some of my places here? Oh, looks good. What are you doing here? There's just this one dark spot. Unfortunately, I ran out of torches because I just uh, redid the whole floor here and tried to light it all up. Uh, I thought now with this all done, all orange and green and colors, I thought the floor could use a little more... You're gonna die, sir. Oh, you still angry? Although you're burning? You can have it. I'll take your pearl. No problem. <laughs> Um, yeah, I thought some gray floor would probably be not too bad because if we had a colorful floor now It would just be colors everywhere and you wouldn't know where to look uh, So I decided to go with a plain square checkerboard pattern of uh, the different stone types and I probably will Either every uh, one of these corners or every second one I'll probably put in the redstone lamp to light up everything and have nothing spawn here and actually what I thought about is having um, something in the center here, kind of similar to what we got going on here. We have a window over here. Um, it goes down and has the window. I don't know if I want to have it going down at all. But what I was going to try is see if we can set it up in a way that we can actually observe the villagers working below. Because that could be kind of fun, right? Watching other people work? I think that's uh, something people like to do. <laughs> so if we open this up, I have an axe here. This is the center, interesting. It's not quite centered, but I don't think it matters too much. But it might be cool, maybe even... Maybe even don't even interrupt the pattern. Just have this. But instead, have glass above here. And then have it just open like that. It might be cool. I don't know. I bet they they just fell on top of the hot pot and are now in my beautiful carrot storage. There we go. Yeah, they're coming up already. I can smell them. They're probably below. Oh yeah, I covered up already. No, let me hope. Let's let's hurry. Oh, there they were. Ah, <laughs> oh, just barely saw them. Well. They're probably gonna... Although my carrot start is not full anymore. Since the villager is not there. So they might actually get stored, which is kind of funny. So maybe I just get rid of all the stone here and all the wood. I don't know how this will look from below. It kind of looks like there's just a giant hole in the ceiling. Not sure if that would make for a good um, perspective. But I think it would look kind of cool from up here. Nonetheless, uh, let me do some work on that and then we're gonna take a look on it from up here and from down below and we can see if we like it. Alright, window is done. I'm uh, still on the fence about it. So what I did, I covered up all the stone on the sides with acacia. It's kind of awkward because the room downstairs already ends right here and up here it's quite a little bit bigger. But it worked out actually perfectly with this last window here. Um, you can see a little bit, not too much, um, but it's all right. I think it definitely adds some point of interest here. Uh, the black glass makes it a little less intrusive, which I'm totally okay with. Let's take a look at the, from the bottom, because I haven't done that yet. Um, that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Ah, 
It almost feels like it needs like another um, stone brick stair outline like I have on the sides. Because just like that, it looks just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit weird. Maybe even a full block outline, doesn't even have to be stairs. Let me try that real quick. Yeah, that's way better. I like that way better than before. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Looks kind of cool, gives it another little detail to look at. Um, <laughs> still haven't figured out this one. What? That's a lot. Woo, what? I mean, there was nothing, right? I you didn't see anything. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave it a like. And uh, if not, leave me a comment and tell me why. But I'll see you all again in the next one. I think I have something special planned for the next one. Um, we'll find out. I'm not sure if it's going to work out. But uh, I think I teased enough. <laughs> uh, have a nice day, guys. And seriously, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.